Oh, hi there, lovers. Amitabha at your service, delivering another beautiful message of love and light and and uh, maybe some wisdom. I don't know. We'll see. You, you tell me in the comments below. Or you'll be like, that guy don't know what he's talking about. He's stupid. He's a stupid guy. Anyways, uh, this video is about light workers, star seeds, indigo children, rainbow children. Uh, what else? What else do we want to come up with here? Any other type of special label that that uh, people give themselves, or psychics, namely, do this the most? People that. Yeah, and psychic abilities are real, but uh, people that call them psychics often, I, I find, uh, come up with these labels and say, oh, you're an indigo child, or you're a crystal child, you're a rainbow child, or I'm a star seed, or I'm a light worker. And I've, I've toyed around with this, this light worker idea, and I actually wrote a song about it uh, called Light Worker, um, but I think we all are uh, light workers, because that's what we are in our essence. And so what I want to tell you is uh, that there is no such thing as a light worker. There is no such thing as a star seed. There is no such thing as a crystal child. There is no such thing as a rainbow child or an indigo child. We're all the same. And to, to create these labels uh, is to separate. This is part of the New Age religion. And uh, it's all false. And it's all designed to keep people separated and thinking that some are better than others. And so if you believe this, I would like to encourage you to discard it completely because all it's really doing is saying some are better than others, some have more abilities than others. And if for example, you go to a psychic or something they say, you're not a, you're not a crystal child. You're what are you then? You're just a regular, or you're not a indigo adult, or something like that, or whatever these labels are. Then what are you? You know, you're gonna feel a sense of, well, I'm not as good, and I'm not as empowered, and I can't be as much as I actually thought I could, or that someone else can be. And so, all these things are just labels. You can call yourself that if you want. Uh, I don't call myself anything because. All they do, all labels and names do is separate each other. And they're useful, like, you know, call me Ami. Call uh, somebody uh, Joseph or whatever. I don't care what you call them. I'm just coming up with a name that I don't know anybody named that. And uh, and it's good to identify them as that to, to so you can say... Hey, Joseph, do you want to come over and play basketball tomorrow? <laughs> Whatever. But further than that, it doesn't have any any purpose whatsoever. Um, all it does is, is segregate people. So throw away the labels, man, because everybody's the same. We're all divine spirits. We're all capable of exactly the same thing. Even if some people have cultivated special abilities... Um, psychic abilities, musical abilities, um, intellectual um, capacity. It doesn't mean that they're any better than you. It just means that they've spent time at it or that they were particularly open and they didn't close themselves off or their parents didn't uh, contribute to conditioning that, that helped them close themselves off. So... Nobody's nobody's any better than anybody else. And if you talk to any top athlete or any top um, performer, I mean, I, I can write some really good songs, and I always and I still believe it. Anybody can do what I do, writing songs. And there's a lot of people that can do it a lot better that have applied themselves more than I have. They've read more books. They've played. They've spent more time practicing their instruments, and. Uh, Maybe some people are, are, are uh, definitely some people are more open than I am, and I'm pretty open though. <laughs> but um, I'm not any better than anybody else. Michael Jordan's not any better than anybody else. You could probably ask him, and I'm sure in interviews, I'm sure I recall, you know, things like, 
all you got to do is spend more time on the court. Um, if you want to develop your psychic abilities, learn to meditate. Um, learn to still your mind so that you can... Because what, what happens is the mind's chatting all day and you can't perceive that, um, that uh, extrasensory input. And um, if you want to open up your healing abilities, learn to meditate. You can raise your kundalini. I mean, I've talking about all the time now because I realize this is what's happened that I've raised my kundalini, or at least it's like definitely initiated. Um, there's lots of cleansing that has to happen with that, and I'm definitely not done the process, that's for sure. But I've I've done it. I've raised it, and I know the signs. I see the signs of what what happens when that happens. And, but that doesn't mean that I'm better than somebody else because I've raised my kundalini and most people haven't. Everybody can do it. All I did is spend years meditating. And and exclusively, really, it didn't even take that long. It only took a few months, really, maybe... Well, before it totally opened, probably um, a couple of years. But it was a gradual process and I was very committed to meditation. And so if you want to open up your kundalini, you can do that. You just have to meditate a lot. You have to do uh, meditate in a fashion that's effective. Not um, don't visualize and call that meditation. Um, meditate to stop your mind. And if anybody tells you you can't stop it, they don't know because they just don't believe it because there's fear. Because if you stop your mind, you stop your ego, and the ego is always, always afraid of death. And that's where all our fears come from. So there is nobody special in this world. And this is a hard thing to hear for some people. I'm not special. You're not special. There is nobody that's special. We're unique, but not special. And we just create all these meanings as, a, as a ways of um, benevolently separating each other. We don't, we don't mean to do it in a harmful way, but it is harmful. If uh, you go to a psychic and they tell you, you're a crystal child, or or negative things also. I mean, you go to school. I was just I'm watching this uh, documentary called Collective Evolution. My friend Raven lent to me, and you know, you go to a school and and you don't act in the same way. And they say you have ADHD or ADD. And how many times have I heard countless people when they do something wrong or they get distracted in some little way, they say, "Oh, I've got ADD," or or the other thing is. People say all the time is, oh, I got dyslexia. No, you don't. You don't have dyslexia. You are just human. You make mistakes. You're not perfect. And so all these labels, they don't, uh, you know, people say all the time, oh, my arm's getting sore. Um, you know, do I have a weak arm? You know, because, you know, I'm, I'm a guy with a weak arm. No, it's holding up the camera for a while. <laughs> but if I worked out, then uh, I could probably hold it longer without shaking. And, uh, you know, so just don't limit yourself, man. And, and because all these labels, whatever they might be, they're all limiting. Call yourself a spiritual being that is unlimited, that is created from love, that is love. And the only thing you truly are in your nature is that, is love. And if anything else is, is going to come, and somebody's going to give me a label, I'm not going to accept it. And if I start giving myself labels and saying I'm not good enough or uh, I could be, I'm not good at this, you can be realistic. But as long as you do it, and, you know, I like to say things like, for example, um, in the past I used to... Um, not recall my dreams a lot and then I used to say I never remember my dreams I said that for years and years and years and then I changed it to up to this point I haven't remembered that many dreams in my life and that changed things and now I remember more dreams it's crazy like I honestly used to remember I could I could count probably between the age of 30 and and since I was born, like since I was maybe a, a teenager, let's say, because I used to have more dreams when I was a kid. But um, I could probably count 50 dreams. You know, if I was to add them up, I would, you know, like honestly, it was so little. And people dream every single night, but I hardly had any. 
And I used to say, I never remember my dreams. I don't dream. I re never remember my dreams. And that was a huge limiting belief. But then I started changing my words and uh, with that, my beliefs about what's true for me. And I said, I give myself permission to remember my dreams. I, I wish to remember my dreams. Up to this point in my life, I haven't remembered that many dreams, which is, it's, it's, it's true about the past, but it's not creating a limiting, uh, a limiting box for the future that I have to fulfill based upon the, the past. I can, I can now create a new way of being and uh, that can be whatever I want and it's not going to be a limitation. I mean, I remember years ago, it's probably about five years ago after I started awakening and meditating and things and my mom uh, used to say, and my whole family, brutal, uh, like I mean the adults, don't get your hopes up. You know, like you, you, you I, I would call my mom up and I'd get so excited about something because I get really excited, I'm like a kid, right? And you tell them, and it's, you're just telling them to share because you're, it's love, and love wants to share. That's what love is, man. When you're excited, you are in the spirit of, of the creator that you are. You are, you're being the sun, you know, shining. It just shares. That's all it does. The sun doesn't just keep it to itself. It shares, and that's what you are. And so I'd call my mom up and be like, hey, mom, guess what? I'm going to do this. And I remember one time I was like, I think I'm going to sell cars for a while. And, you know, and it was just going to be something I was going to do to make money. not Because I, I just needed to make money. And I thought, you know, I could do that. Sure. She goes, oh, I don't think you're going to like that. No, 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 that's not a good idea. Don't get, you know. And, and I'm like, well, why not? No reasons. It's just, I don't, I don't think you're going to like that. And then, you know, I tell her about, you know, I'm going to do this and it's going to be really great and, and I'm really excited about my life and, and, well, don't get your hopes up. And I had to tell my mom, listen, mom, don't you ever, 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 ever again tell me not to get my hopes up. I want you to tell me to get my hopes up because that's how you achieve your dreams. You don't squash people's dreams like that. It's not cool. And luckily... She stopped, you know, um, so that's one thing she stopped, but all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is all I'm saying, yo, and uh, don't limit people, and don't limit yourself, and these labels, these starseed, lightworker, you know, I'm from another planet, who knows if you are, if you have direct experience of that, then that's cool, but I mean, to tell somebody else that is kind of ridiculous, and it's kind of, um, getting people's hopes up in a way that's limiting you know just be more about removing people's uh beliefs instead of creating more because all we have to do to realize our unlimitedness is to release our identity and our attachment with our name and our form and release our beliefs and our limiting habits and and uh, belief systems and then what happens is, and start to meditate, start to quiet down the mind and start to uh, release the chatter and uh, all the limitations will go away. Take some time, take some dedication. You got to really want it. But um, anyways, long video, go on slightly off topic, but it's all related because, because we're all one and we're special light workers and you're a special being of light and nobody's like you. And that's true. You're a special being of light. Nobody is like you. Um, but you are also exactly the same as everybody else. Because if you're different, then you're looking at the, uh, we're looking at the, uh, the form level. But there's a sameness. And that's where unconditional love comes from. It comes from the sameness. Not from, I need to be honored and uh, so many people that are in, especially females unfortunately oh, i need to be on he's he's not honoring me and all this and all that is is unfortunately i gotta tell you i gotta be honest is ego it's it's um i need you to respect my belief about who i think i am and the the real you the love that doesn't have any beliefs because it's not human love isn't human 
I mean, if you were to say love is human, then you could say, well, animals are not capable of love. Um, flowers are not capable of love. I believe that every bloomed flower is an expression of love. Every stage of the flower's um, growth is an expression of love. Every blade of grass is an expression of love. It's giving us oxygen and it's, it's giving us food to eat. Um, so everything is an expression of love and so it can't possibly need to be honored. I mean, um, the, the flowers are not, you know, when you walk by, you're not, they're not being like, Hey, what? Get back here. You didn't honor me. What? No, they're not. They're like expressing their love. And if people see it or not, they're okay with it. And if people honor them or not, they're okay with it. And this is unconditional love. And anyways, long video. You are amazing. Please know this. I'm amazing. I say it all the time. <laughs> and uh, when you start to uh, say things like this, but not in a way that, you know, I'm better than you amazing, you can recognize your own sunness, you know, your own flowerness, your own essence. And that's amazing. And your individual expression is amazing too. But it's it's temporary, it's impermanent, and it's going to be gone someday. And all you'll be, you'll be left with and as is love. So, so honor nothing but love. And don't even honor that. Um, just be it. Just, just express it. And, uh, and you'll start to unfold unlimited, expansive awareness and creativity like you would not imagine and happiness and peace and that's what i wish for you always and uh have a wonderful day thank you for watching